G'day, g'day, and welcome to another episode of Kiwi Car Life. And if you've got $10,000 to spend and you want to get yourself a hot hatchback, do you go for the front-wheel drive Mark V Golf GTI or the rear-wheel drive BMW 130i? Well, these cars are both manual. They are both from 2007. They've both done very similar kilometers. And today, we're going to be seeing which one's better. In terms of exterior styling, in typical European car fashion, both are extremely understated. I did a few things to improve the look of my car a little bit, like putting 135i wheels on it and a little lip spoiler, but on the stock 17s, these 130i's frankly are extremely boring looking cars. The GTI's on the other hand, I actually think look a little bit better. They come with a little spoiler from factory. I quite like the way the front end looks with the little red stripe across the grille. And the tail lights, they're just very distinctive. Overall, I think that the GTI is quite a cool looking car. The engine in the Golf GTI is a typical Vantage Group 2 litre turbocharged engine. It makes 147 kilowatt, or around 200 horsepower, and 280 new meters. And you can get it sending the power to the front wheels with either a six speed dual clutch transmission or, in the case of this, a six speed manual. My 130i on the other hand has a three litre straight six. It makes a bit more power naturally with it being a six cylinder rather than a four cylinder and just more displacement. It's got 195 kilowatt or 265 horsepower and 315 newton meters. The power is going to the rear wheels through either a six speed automatic which I have reviewed in the past or a six speed manual like my one. The interior of this particular Golf GTI is absolutely immaculate. Even the steering wheel doesn't have any wear on it and you can still see the text on all of the buttons. The radio screen here is absolutely perfect. There is no wear or tear to be seen anywhere on the inside, which is quite remarkable because a lot of these GTIs do get absolutely ragged on. However, this one is a one owner car. It has a full service history and it's for sale as well. So if you would like to get in contact with the owner and hit me up on Instagram at kiwicarlife.yt and I'll put you in contact with them. But the interior itself of these GTIs, it's very bland, but it's very functional. The transmission has a very, very light throw. The steering wheel feels great. It's got some big chunky 10 and 2 grips up here, but it's a bit thinner where you put your hands and the gauges show all the information that you need with a nice big screen there in the middle. It's got more rear leg room than my car in the back and a little bit more boot space as well. The roof is also a bit higher. It does feel just generally more spacious. The advantages with mine is that it has the leather interior which is a little bit nice. It also has heated seats, which is just a spec thing. The steering wheel is a little bit smaller on mine as well. It does feel slightly more compact. It has the iDrive screen, which while dated does have more features where it can show you your service history. And overall, I think that the BMW's interior is just slightly better built. A little bit nicer materials. There's a few less rattles. But overall, both are lovely places to sit and will be very comfortable on any kind of long journey. So now it really just comes down to the drive. Oh yeah, Golf GTI. What a familiar chassis this is. But this time, with a manual gearbox. Not something I've had before. Every single GTI anything I've driven has always been dual clutch, but this one. Oh yes, nice short gears. Oh, it's lovely. You literally can't hear the engine, it's amazing how quiet it is, eh? But it revs, oh, the steering is good. It handles nicely. It actually feels surprisingly similar to my one series, just the steering is a wee bit slower, and it's obviously nowhere near as quick. But it zips, it's nice, and on parts for fours, oh, it does handle really well, eh? It's slow steering, but it's got good feeling, you know exactly what the front end's up to. It just handles so good on these tires. Oh, it's lovely. Turn it in. Put down. Oh, yeah. It's lovely to drive, man. It's so good. And while it doesn't make any noise, oh, it is a brilliant drive. If you're looking into automatic, I think the GTI's dual clutch is better than the six speed auto in the 130i. If you're looking at a manual, the 130i does have more power, and my one has a slightly better feeling manual gearbox. And I guess I'm just gonna have to jump straight out of this, back into the 130, and just see if it's any better. Back in the 130i, there's a few things I noticed immediately. One, 
is it's a lot faster that's for sure and makes a lot more noise and as we start to turn into some of these corners here you definitely notice the quicker steering this thing changes direction a lot faster and i'm only having to apply look like 90 degrees of steering angle whereas in the gti it's having to go kind of over 90 degrees but it does lean a little more in the corners it's kind of a, a luxury hatch in a way i suppose but the sound of the engine and because it's naturally aspirated and it has such a well calibrated throttle you don't have to stand on the throttle to get it to rev up it's just a quick tap and the revs just come straight up and it's so good it's fast it sounds great slightly quicker steering equally good steering feel it's equally as quiet here on the inside handles you know just as well very similarly it's really just the brakes that aren't quite as good but everything else is as good if not slightly better it's a little faster more exhaust noise quicker steering it's super easy to get it to just rev down the gears and the gearbox just feels a little bit more snickety you know but that said he's three up with passengers right now and i'm going to put in some effort to keep up the positives of the gti is that manual ones are more plentiful and the automatic ones have a better transmission in my mind they look a little bit better they'll get better fuel economy it's got more space in the back and more boot space and it is a fantastic drive i would like if it had a bit more exhaust noise like this car and slightly quicker steering but in every other regard the transmission feels great the engine's really responsive they're very tunable the 130i does have some areas where it is noticeably better quicker steering equally good steering feel in my mind a slightly better feeling transmission slightly shorter gears more power more potent exhaust noise from factory anyway i reckon these have got to be two of some of the best hot hatchbacks you can buy there's subtle areas where they differ but they're both great and i think if you bought either one you would love it so thanks for watching and i will look forward to seeing you again next time